me of the crowd, and I used to be a school teacher, and it was fine speaking in front of a bunch of children, but artists paint by themselves alone <laughs> in a little studio, and I'm hoping I'm speaking loud enough, am I? Can you hear me? Um, <clears throat> this has all been, it's been a journey for me, too, to be involved in this. When I was um, asked to, to do this, I remember getting a phone call. I'd seen, I'd seen um, uh, the obituary in the paper, and it jumped at me. And I remember thinking, oh, what an amazing woman, you know, and what a great tragedy that this has happened. And um, it was like about two hours later that um, uh, Tom called me. And, um, and I remember being, um, I felt honored and a little intimidated <laughs> because I thought this is such a process for this family. And I, you know, I'm just hoping that what I can do in this process will be an honor to Louise and will bring uh, comfort to you as a family. And when I would paint in the morning, that's what I was asking for. I, I just opened myself in a, in, a, in, in a prayerful way so that what I was creating, I just, I, if I had thought about it as me painting, it would have been way too intimidating. I had to just say, I'm going to do this as, you know, as a process for Louise. And, and um, Bruce loaned me the Leonard Cohen um, a CD. And so I, I, I have done, I did something similar for my, um, uh, my grandmother, and I would smell her perfume in the morning before I would start to paint. And I felt like my grandmother was kind of with me in spirit while I was painting. Um, and I felt like she wanted her story told, and I did that. So I asked Bruce what would be something that would be significant for to help me connect with Louise because you all knew Louise, you know, intimately. I have not met her other than I feel like I felt her through this process. And um, and so he gave me the Leonard Cohen CD, and um, I remember the first time playing it, thinking. <laughs> yeah. And then I got really into it, and by the end, I could sing all word for word. <laughs> and, and I'm laughing at him and his humor. You know, he's got like this subtle, dry, dry humor. And uh, um, you know, I, I, I actually suggested Bruce maybe we should have a sing along, but you know, anyway. <laughs> um, and um, I, when I brought the images over. Um, I, I brought a series of images. I had gone to, I, I tried coming over here to take photos of irises, and Don was leading me when I was on this, and I was leading her around, and we were having a real hard time finding irises because so many had been cut down for the service, which that was great. I was like, okay, I'll walk with you, okay? So then I went to Mary, um, the house on Mary, Mary Wilson Street, and um, and it, it was it was wonderful again because I'm looking at flowers that Louise's hands touched, and that you know that was so beautiful for me to see you know her hands in things. And um, uh, so then um, I brought photos and some photos that I had also, and I I wanted whatever was chosen. I, I sent a bunch of photos to to Bruce. Um, and I, you know, I wanted it to be something that would speak to to him because that's part of the, the process and the healing. And um, so we were looking through through the, the photos, and and there was one where he said, oh, let, "I think this is the one." And what was really interesting is when he he got to that one, we turned and looked, and right next to his computer screen was this photo. And the reason it's significant is because all the colors that are in this photo were in the photo reference that we chose. And the photo that I originally had had, had it had a big kind of goofy, you know, petal on the, on the end. And I said, no, that's not the one that I want. I want to crop this way so that it takes you into the flower. And, and there was a part of me that didn't really want to do that. 
So I have to tell you, I can't yeah, say it. No, <laughs> because to me this is this is for you, right? So so um, so what I did at home is I was actually playing with the photo on on my computer and trying to recross the thing, right? Whatever. And there was something that happened on my computer because it just deleted the other one and the one that you wanted popped up and that was it. And I was like, hey, all right, I got it. I'm going to do it just the way he asked for it. So that was a, a really interesting. Before, I'll, I'll tell you about the process um, in a moment, but I think you probably would like to see it. Um, the other part to it is that um, the colors you're going to see here are not usually the colors that I paint them. They're, this is not this is not a room where I wrote them, but to me they were colors that were like in there and probably reflect. I'm hoping reflect Louise more than what I would normally do. So anyway, drum roll, anyone? <laughs> um, and you know how she's up high. Chloe, turn the music down. Turn the music down. A little bit. Turn it down. <laughs> and and I had lime green in the background. And I kind of went, oh boy, okay, I don't know what to do here. And so I said, okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> and 
then all of a sudden, one day, because I, I had a whole bunch of photos lying around, and then I just started cutting and pasting and slapping things on, and I've never done that before. And I slapped them all on, and I thought, okay, that's it. And so that's what all of these mm. were, because they weren't in there. And then this stuff was all just emerging. It just was coming through, and really, I was quite pleased. Like, I thought, oh, it worked. So anyway, that was the part of I felt like inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it speaks to you. Oh, good. That I did my job. <laughs> it's a work of art. And I would, I, I, I would pray for, and I'd say, oh, Louise, help me. I would say, Louise, help me create something that will speak to you through this woman. She was <laughs> And abused. <laughs> 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 well done, Sammy. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Charlotte. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Just a minute, that would happen. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> where the brush is touching the canvas. I, I keep track because I don't know. When I start painting, I don't have any sense of time. So I actually put down the start time and I put the end time down when I, when I finish. So it was 55 hours if I count just the brush on the canvas without anything else. So, and the 55 hours, that might not sound like long. Yeah. 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 You're, you're in such a deep level of concentration, I can't, I can't stay in there for, I can do maybe three, I can't, if I go to five hours, I can't kind of talk so much anymore. I can't, you know, I'm not coherent really anymore, so, yeah. Anyway. Oh, thank you. That's so cool. Right? Yeah. Oh, my God. 